Welcome to Investment Insights from Perch Wealth, your ultimate guide to smart real estate investment and achieving your financial goals. Your host, Ehud Gersten, is a renowned expert and the founder of Perch Wealth. His team specializes in 1031 exchanges and breaks down complex concepts into digestible strategies for financial independence. Dive deep into the world of investment, from the intricacies of 1031 exchanges to expert insights on real estate investments. Hi, I'm Ehud Gersten. Let's get into it. When you set out to find the right Delaware Statutory Trust DST broker for your 1031 exchange, the decision can make or break your investment success. Investors face decisions that require sophisticated evaluations all the time, but knowing with whom to invest and trust is vital. Finding the DST investments that make the most sense for you and receiving knowledgeable and experienced advice by someone that is concerned with your best interest as to which DST to choose is critical. Your broker should also have a diversified menu of investment choices available, an understanding of the DST sponsor's track record and management, as well as the ability to match you to investment options that are aligned with your needs and goals by taking the time and effort to get to know you. Let's learn about the red flags and signals that you should consider when choosing a DST broker to walk you through your 1031 exchange. Here are five must-have DST broker qualities and notable red flags. Knowing what to look for and what to avoid can help you when choosing a broker. That means you will be able to consider your investments with the peace of mind that you are getting information tailored to you. But more importantly, you will gain confidence in knowing you are walking through the process with a knowledgeable and experienced broker who cares about your investment outcomes and who wants a long-term relationship with you. Number one, are they well-established and respected? The DST industry is smaller than you might think which means word travels fast when professionals mistreat their clients, especially if it is their common practice. For example, suppose a firm or broker has a history of recommending replacement properties that are less suitable for their clients. That is a telltale sign that they likely don't have the investor's best interests at heart. So what do you do? Make sure your prospective broker has experience in understanding navigating market cycles. Ask them about their investment and real estate background how long have they been doing what they do and what did they do before? Number two, do they disclose and do their best to mitigate conflicts of interest? You need an advisor who can be there for you despite their conflict of interest. Anything that could sway their ability to stand up for your financial interests should be considered when determining whether to work with them, as well as in reviewing the recommendations that they make. The best DST brokers worth working with follow a strict professional code of conduct, meaning they won't have any unreasonable interests associated with the DSTs they do or don't recommend. That means the DST investment has no ownership affiliation with the broker or their company. Of course, conflicts of interest, such as compensation, will generally exist to some extent. So what do you do? It's worth asking your broker outright if they or their company have any affiliation or ownership in the DST investment offerings they put in front of you. You can also ask them about any other conflicts, such as compensation arrangements. Three, does your potential DST broker get to know and understand your particular situation? This is a bigger deal than it might initially seem. Your broker should be wholly concerned with getting to know you and creating a relevant investment strategy tailored to your objectives and circumstances. Also, Make sure they have an education-first approach, providing a balanced perspective about risks and opportunities. What to do? Evaluate the recommendations your broker makes. Challenge anything that does not seem like a suitable course of action for you. They should present options and offer context about why each option could be the best for you and your situation. If they cannot speak to each investment's pros and cons and offer specifics about how to approach those choices, then it is likely they have not done much of an analysis, meaning you may not be getting a customized set of recommendations. Four, what kind of due diligence and analysis team do they have when assessing offerings? You rely on your DST broker to provide insight and understanding about each DST sponsor and their respective offering. But insight is derived from analysis and due diligence, and the more in-depth, the more useful for investors when they are deciding in which DST to invest. Informed decisions are based on having sufficient and relevant information. What to do? 
Ask your broker if they have a due diligence team to analyze DST offerings, and if so, how deep is their bench? Meaning if they say that they solely rely on third-party reports for due diligence analysis or on their broker-dealer to approve offerings, that's likely not sufficient. The broker should have an in-house team that is solely focused on reviewing the offerings. Ask the broker about the background and education of their due diligence analysts. And five, is your DST broker objective and realistic? Integrity and experience can come across in several ways, but an easy tell is promissory language. Your broker should never guarantee success or outcomes. In fact, they should be clear about risks and benefits, pros and cons, opportunities and their limits. They will understand market volatility, have done their due diligence in carefully researching investments they are recommending to you, and never speculate in such a way that guarantees the future performance of your investment. Anyone who talks like they have a crystal ball is not being objective or prudent. What to do. Be wary of concrete phrasing about the amount you'll earn from your investment and be ready to walk away from exaggerated claims. Instead, a prudent broker will discuss the value of an investment by exploring multiple possibilities. Perhaps most importantly, they will be able to articulate their assessment of the value and risks according to your specific individual situation. Some final thoughts on finding a trusted broker. When seeking the right DST broker, avoid a one-time exchange of professional services. Seek someone who approaches the relationship as a partnership. If you are considering selling investment property, it is worth understanding the full suite of options available for maximizing the value of your proceeds. Contact us today. Our team at Perch Wealth would be happy to consult with you about which strategy might be best for your specific investment goals. Thank you for listening. The following are the real estate and 1031 risk disclosures. There's no guarantee any strategy will be successful or achieve investment objectives. All real estate investments have the potential to lose value during the life of the investments. The income stream and depreciation schedule for any investment property may affect the property owner's income bracket and or tax status. An unfavorable tax ruling may cancel deferral of capital gains and result in immediate tax liabilities. All financed real estate investments have potential for foreclosure. These 1031 exchanges are offered through private placement offerings and are illiquid securities. There is no secondary market for these investments. If a property unexpectedly loses tenants or sustains substantial damage, there is potential for suspension of cash flow distributions. Costs associated with the transaction may impact investors' returns and may outweigh the tax benefits. Tax benefits are not guaranteed and are subject to changes in the tax code.